Hey guys, it's Kerry. I've got more Indian animals today. Asiatic lion. It has a longitudinal fold of skin running along its belly, possibly to help protect them from piercing hooves of their frantic prey. Male lions have a moderate mane growth at the top of the head so that their ears are always visible. The mane is scanty on the cheeks and throat where it is only about 10 centimeters long. The manes of most lions in ancient Greece and Asia Minor were also less developed and did not extend to below the belly, sides or ulnas. The male smells the female's urine or genital area to know if she is receptive. Once the female is in estrus, courtship may be initiated by either the male or female. The female invites copulation by lordosis. The male will mount her from behind. Mating continues for a period of approximately three to four days. Populations are brief but frequent, lasting a minute or less and may occur as often as three times per hour. Between copulations, the pair walks together or lies down. Bengal Tiger The tiger is estimated to be present in the Indian subcontinent since the late Pleistocene for about 12,000 to 16,500 years. The white tiger is a recessive mutant. Tiger claws are extremely sharp. Each of these claws has a cover so that they don't get exposed and worn out when they don't need to use them. They sometimes scratch their claws against the trees to keep them sharp. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Indian Leopard, it has strong legs and a long well-formed tail, broad muzzle, short ears and small yellowish grey eyes. This one is a melanistic form. Fur colour tends to be more pale and cream in arid habitats, more grey in colder climates and a darker golden hue in rainforest habitats, all to help with camouflage. Leopard. It is known for its ability in climbing and has been observed resting on tree branches during the day, dragging its kills up to trees and hanging them there and descending from trees head first. Bengal cat, palace cat, leopard cat, honey badger. It has few natural predators because of its thick skin, strength and ferocious defensive abilities. Its skin is remarkably loose and allows it to turn and twist freely within it. When escape is impossible, they will fight fiercely, even large predators such as lions and hyenas. Indian Lynx During summer, it has a relatively short reddish or brown coat which is replaced by a much thicker silver grey to greyish brown coat during winter. The lynx hunts by stalking and jumping on its prey, helped by the rugged forested country in which it lives. They are usually solitary, although a small group of lynx may travel and hunt together occasionally. Mating takes place in the late winter and once a year the females give birth to between one and four kittens. The young stay with the mother for one more winter, a total of around nine months before moving out to live on their own as young adults. Indian peafowl is native to the Indian subcontinent. 
it has been introduced to many other countries. Maga crocodile is a medium-sized broad-snouted crocodile. It is native to freshwater habitats from southern Iran to the Indian subcontinent where it inhabits marshes, lakes, rivers and artificial ponds. They dig burrows to which they retreat when the temperature drops below 5 degrees Celsius. Females dig holes in the sand as nesting sites and lay up to 46 eggs during the dry season. Marco is a large wild goat of the family Bovidae. It is also known as the screw horned goat. Females use their horns to protect their young from predators. Himalayan tar is a wild goat. The horns are curved backwards, preventing injury during mating season when headbutting is a common mating ritual amongst the males. Ibex The males are commonly larger and heavier than females and their most noticeable difference is the large size of their horns. The beautiful Nilgai The largest Asian antelope It has sturdy thin legs and a sloping back a deep neck with a white patch on the throat, a short crest of hair along the neck terminating in a tuft and white facial spots. Coarse hair hangs below the white patch forming a dewlap. Taken is a type of goat. Yak, it is still used in many parts of Central Asia for pulling heavy farm machinery and for transporting goods through the mountains. Yaks use their strong dense horns to break through snow in order to find buried parts. This procession of yaks is on its way to the Namch Bazaar in Nepal. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.